Gavin, I feel like I'm floating through life without any real sense of direction. How can I find my way? Well, my friend, I can tell you something that helped me out and something that you are missing right now that is key to helping you move forward here. I have been in a situation where I was completely lost and I didn't have anyone there to guide me through the darkness. I didn't even know I was in the darkness until I fell into the bottom of the pit and my whole life crumbled around me and there in that very place I was offered a choice. A choice to either stay there and wallow in my self-pity and feel sorry for myself and regret all the decisions that had brought me to this point or else the choice to take stock of my life, the choice to begin to make new and better decisions, the choice to reach out and ask for help, the choice to do things that I had never done before, the choice to do the difficult and not the easy. And within all of this, the very thing I was missing was a purpose. And it is the very thing that will help you establish a mission in your life today. And you may be asking, well, I don't know what my purpose is. How can I find that? Well, reflect back on a time when someone else's purpose was instilled in you. And to help you understand exactly what I'm talking about here, I'll bring you back to a time when this happened in my life. When I was 18, I was in a serious car accident where I was responsible for the death of a woman. And on that very day, in that very moment, I thought my whole world was over. I completely blamed myself for what happened from the very second that I seen her and I believed that everyone in my life and everyone in my community would hate me forever for what I just done. And I remember leaving the scene, this absolutely chaotic episode in my life, completely numb, completely in shock, completely blaming myself for what just happened, completely believing that no one in my life was ever going to be able to look me in the eye anymore. Believing that all my friends would walk away. Believing that my family would disown me. And I arrived back in my home place and what I had witnessed as I had walked into the kitchen had a significant impact on my life and it still lives within me today. I walked in the kitchen expecting an empty space or expecting people in there to hate me, disown me and blame me for what just happened. But I walked into a room full of love, full of support, my friends, my family showing up for me, ready to help, ready to become a pillar of support that I needed, ready to reach out and help me out of this dark place, the impact of that has become my purpose in life. To have their love and their support and their presence at a time where I struggled so much to love and support and be present with myself became absolutely critical to help me beyond this difficult period in my life. Within that very moment, I understood the power of people or the power of one person who will be there for you, who doesn't judge you, who is ready to go through the storm with you, who is there for you through thick and thin, who will not shame but support. And that is what I do today with the work I do with all the men that have helped over the years, who have struggled with addictions, who have lost their way, who are 
broken within. It's become my mission to help them put their pieces back together and to become stronger, more resilient, more compassionate individuals for themselves and for the people that matter the most to them in their life. So my man, what is your purpose? What would have you waking up in the morning and actually looking forward to going into the day because you know you are going to create a positive impact in somebody else's life. And it doesn't have to be the same type of work I do. You could be a teacher who teaches kids to better their education and give them opportunities for the future. Maybe become a coach. Maybe you simply want to help out in the community. Because your purpose has to be greater than you. To create a significant difference in someone else's life that will have a ripple effect onto the people in their life. And then the people in their life will be impacted by this person and this wave continues. That is the significance of creating something positive in one person's life. And I'm here today to help you create something positive in your life. I know you've got it to give. It's deep down, man. You've got to dig. You've got to let go of those criticisms in the past. You've got to let go of the people who told you you can't do shit in your life. You've got to let go of any judgments. You've got to let go of any shame. Because, my man, someday you will close your eyes for the very last time. And I'm pretty sure you won't want to do that without knowing that you have created something positive in this life when you had an opportunity to do so. My man, get after it. And if you need further help on this, reach out to me as I had reached out to others to help me through the storms in my life. I'm here for you.